So the first thing Joe did was he started working with Jacob on the drums, on um, various rhythms, uh, and he also added into the lessons uh, activities with eye and hand coordination and where things were in space and where Jacob's body was in space, helping him with his balance, uh, it, helping him uh, use his eyes better for where things were and, and with his hands. Joe was very specific that he's really working with his brain, not really his eyes. It, it is how the brain works and how the brain is perceiving what the eye is seeing. Uh, and it's really helped Jacob with his, it has helped him, he's much better in soccer. Uh, when he runs, he looks uh, much more natural. He looked much more clumsy uh, the year before he played soccer than after he's worked with Joe. Uh, he's, he's faster and he's just more coordinated. Uh, he's more coordinated in general. Joe also recommended that Jake go see Dr. Gallup, who is a behavioral optometrist. Uh, he changed the lenses a little bit. He felt Jacob's was, lenses were correcting, overcorrecting, uh, and therefore were going to make his eyes weaker in the long run. Uh, and Dr. Gallup has also started helping Jacob uh, in the office doing uh, other eye uh, hand coordination and, and, and other just eye in general exercises in. Uh, with his brain, the, how he is seeing things, uh, how he perceives what he sees, how his two eyes work together. The combination of Jacob working with Joe uh, on the drums and on, on all the other brain uh, exercises and then also working with Dr. Gallup who has uh, a more extensive um, equipment to use, uh, working with Jacob and, and the eyes and the brain. Uh, I think is an excellent uh, combination to uh, further Jacob so that he can deal with the issues he has in school and in general, just general life issues so that his brain is working more efficiently. I found out that Joe made a sleep CD along with the CD of The Kingdom of Should and it was just at that time when I was really getting ready to feel like I had to increase the melatonin, which I did not want to do. And so uh, and Jacob had a tape he was listening to and it just wasn't doing it. Uh, and so Joe gave me his CD, and Jacob, who does not like to listen to new things or try new things, said, okay, he would give it a try. Jacob had tried listening to some classical tapes and had not liked them, had found them to be a little, I don't know, almost scary, but he, you know, he agreed that he would try, and he did listen to it, he did fall asleep to it, and that was the end of him listening to any other CD. He, that is what he's listened to for the past year. I did not have to increase his melatonin, and uh, he falls asleep within about 15 minutes of going to bed. I also listened to the CD. Uh, I've had many others, and this is the only one that's really been helpful. Um, it, it, if I don't turn it on, I find myself thinking of all my lists of things to do and things to worry about. I turn it on and all of those lists go out and I just find myself listening to the CD. But I don't find myself listening for what's going to happen because I'm a singer and I've listened to many CDs and if there's too much going on, I find myself staying awake listening to the music. And Joe has somehow managed to make this very relaxing music that you sort of listen to and then you just sort of not listen to and then you fall asleep. It, it, it's not so, it's not made so that you listen to it till it goes off. Uh, I don't know how to explain it, but it, it's beautiful and yet I don't find myself following a line because then it, that keeps me awake. It just kind of relaxes me and allows me to fall asleep.